All right, today we're just doing a 2008 Toyota Prado 120 series. Just doing the front brake pads and rotors. First, take that little 12 millimeter bolt out. Once you've got that out, grab the little clips that hold the guide pins in. They can be a bit tricky to take out, but once they're out, just make sure to take that little aligning pin out as well. To get these pads out, sometimes it can be a bit tricky in terms of compressing the pads in. I find the best way is just to pull the rotor towards me, but these ones were pretty loose, so took them out. Once you get them taken out, there should be two 17 millimeter bolts on the back of the hub holding the brake caliper in. They're pretty straightforward to get out. All these bolts are pre-cracked, so that's why it's just coming out very easily for me. Once you're done getting this caliper off, just make sure to tie it up so it's not hanging on the brake line or anything like that. Once that's done, you just need to remove the brake rotor. The brake rotor can be a bit tricky to get off sometimes just when it's on, but it's just as simple as working around the edges with a mallet. I've already loosened this one up, so that's why it's going to come off easier. Now just make sure you clean everything up. Once you've cleaned everything up, just chuck a little bit of anti-seize just on the face of the hub near the wheel studs just so the rotor can come off easier next time because when they get stuck on there it almost feels like they're not going to come off. Chuck a box down as well. We don't want to be spilling anything onto the rope. We want to dispose of all this correctly and get rid of it. So when you put this little bit of anti-seize on it doesn't have to be much but just enough to make sure the rotor will come off. Spray the rotor with some brake cleaner as well. Doing that just gets all the oil off the rotor they put on at the factory, so you want to get that off before you put your new pads on it and everything. So chuck a lug nut on it, just to hold it on from moving. Give the caliper a good clean, make sure to get all this crap off of it. And then also just wind it back in the brake pistons, just to make sure you can get the new pads in. For the caliper bolts, just put a tiny bit of Loctite on it. It's just a bit of insurance to make sure that nothing goes wrong in the future and with coming loose and everything like that. Before putting any power tools or anything on, just make sure to turn the bolt in a few turns by hand. This saves you cross-threading anything and then you can send them home with the electric tools. When you're done putting the bolts in with the electric ratchet, just make sure to nip them up by hand to make sure they're all done up correctly. You don't really have to put any Loctite in on these little things just because there's not really any load on it so that's fine there. Give the guide pins a bit of a clean, make sure to get all the crap off if it builds up over time. Chuck the brake pads in but before you do, make sure to put a tiniest little bit of grease or a little bit of anti-seize on it because they do move. Not too much where you're going to collect heaps of dust and dirt and all that, just the smallest amount. And then they'll just slide straight in no problem. Once you've done that, same with the guide pins. Give them a clean, put them in, put the tiniest bit of anti-seize on it just so when the next person comes around to take it out, it's not a problem. Also, you don't want to put too much on because then some might fall onto the disc and then you're going to have problems there. Make sure to align everything correctly. Once you've aligned everything correctly, it might just take a little bit of turning back and forth to get it on properly. Then just clean the last guide pin and then put the aligning pin in too. I said it before in other videos, it's really important to keep everything clean. It gives a place for that brake dust to go. But once you've done all that, you shouldn't have any dramas down the track. If you need any work done to your brakes, give us a message in the link below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you.